Hey guys, Sean B here today. I'm playing with my birthday present from Come to Us, the Win Bison. On paper, he's kind of shit. So I six star him today to try for myself to see if he's really shit or he might be underrated. He awakened into accuracy, which is really good for him because he has provoke, provoked, and attack by reduction and a strip, which is not bad. So the entire kit together. Not a bad idea, but as a HP unit, he is not really scaling with HP that much. I'm using Violent on him, speed with damage and HP. I think Violent Revenge is the most optimal because he revenge with skill 1. So if he revenge and provoke, that'll be really really good. But the thing is, skill 1 when maxed out will give you 80% provoke chance. 80, not bad. The thing is, Bear man, nat 3, skill 1, 85% chance to provoke. <laughs> skill 2 is not bad. Provoke into attack break for one turn which means the unit that attack him will do less damage which make perfect sense and damage according to HP. It does okay damage. Skill 3 is a strip, full strip which is good because sometimes you see that strip, the only strip will one buff which is kinda shitty but full strip into AoE attack by reduction to zero. But because the skill do actual damage, unlike Ganymede, he can glance on fire, he can be revenge by Vert, and as a win unit, people would love to use Vert against him. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend, one of the most famous mobile RPG game in the world. And what comes with being the most famous game around, they have a huge community. With over 25 million downloads, they have millions of players every single day. Every single day. But don't be overwhelmed. You can start playing Raid Shadow Legend right now. It's free to play. You can download them from any app store. I'm playing it on my phone right now and look, it looks amazing on your phone. But if you want to get to know the smaller community of 100,000 people on their Discord or 40,000 people on their Reddit, Hey, they are there to help you guys get into the game with so many resources, guides, tutorials available for free. If you search for Raid Shadow Legend guides, there are so many, so many people have done guides for Raid Shadow Legends and you can get help in every single step of the way. We also have the Reddit community, 41,000 member, post every single day as you can see right here. So what's new for September 2020? They are releasing a balance patch update to tweak the champion in the massive pool of champion that they have so that they can have a much better competitive PvP environment. Other than that, the Forge just came out so that you can craft your artifact and get competitive very quickly. So what are you waiting for? Go down there to the video description to get the link to join the game and get yourself 100,000 silver, 10 mystery shot, 50 gem and one free champion, the Hex Weaver. I personally played with a Hex Weaver before, and hey, she's gonna support you in the early game very, very well. The rewards will be available for you only in the next 30 days. After you complete the tutorial, the rewards will be sent in your inbox right over here. Use the link down below to join Raid Shadow Legend right now. For now, the only realistic place to use will be Guild Battle when. RTA come back in, I'll try him again, but I think he is decent in Gyo battle. One of the most popular defense is gonna be Galleon, Clara, and Savannah. The Wind Bison can kinda do the same thing with attack by pushback and he does control afterwards with provoke. Let's say I go in with my typical try hard offense. They're definitely taking turn one with the Wheel of Fire. Very good strip gun from Clara here and AOE attack buff defense break this will give the bison more damage you need to push back oh he got the pushback on the velager so right now i'm completely controlled as you can see right here this is why this defense really good if it works out well for the defense and there's nothing i can do so absolute domination right there with the attack by pushback and good damage come out from the bison. The team can be used to attack other as well because the nature of the team is pretty simple. You go in with a big strip and then you control them with attack by reduction. So the strip might not be too relevant, but let's say I miss strip on one of the wheel runes on the enemy team, then the bison can actually strip that enemy 
and give me the full pushback okay can i try to stun that my is on despair i love claire on despair even though she didn't even stun that much just now and you can build galleon on damage as well i think galleon on damage is kind of underrated skill 2 psycho crusher um the damage is okay but that is a skogo with extra defense while the rock is in the air so wouldn't say that's a fair comparison we're trying to hit something weaker but i would say it fall in the 15 to 20 000 range with my stance i think one way to make this guy good is to give him speed awakening instead of accuracy even though accuracy is pretty important for him but as an attack bar reducer i think having speed is pretty important let's see i can strip this guy boom so right here we see the strip potential of the bison if one of the enemy unit actually managed to dodge the the strip of the clara so psycho crusher i hope i crit here we're gonna do around sixteen thousand. not the most amazing thing i would say but hp scaling damage skill usually doesn't do that much in general so you can't really expect too much that's how they keep the hp unit bands because if you're super tanky and you can do some massive damage is it's too unfair <laughs> to beat this thing reliably you need cooldown reduction you need stun to make sure you kill tyrannus you kill perna quickly or even for the molong to be shut down effectively you need that kind of effect and this bison i don't think he provides enough wow this this game is turning out exactly like the game before and i still lost like it looks like i'm controlling the enemy really really well but they're gonna wake up very very soon and provoke them and stop them from destroying my team okay no violent prop thank you thank you let's try to stun tyrannus despair stun very nice provoke this guy actually i don't want to provoke that guy if i provoke him i'll get defense broken and i'll get one shot by the perna later on oh my god <laughs> the violent block from this guy is insane let me try to push back the tyrannus here okay we keep the attack bar low but we're not exactly doing any real damage we're gonna finish the perna um push back the molong here and maybe we're gonna be okay but honestly we may see him in gilwa defense for those who don't rock a savannah i think he is an okay option for the galleon defense or let's say kamun orion savannah and you can run kamun orion wind bison the extra strip might be pretty handy on defense too okay defense bird can we kill can we kill pushback all right <laughs> barely won this guy barely won this defense right here maybe we'll see him as an odin replacement as well in the Kamun Bastet odin as a wind unit that can do damage and control i think he has the potential to be in this spot okay we do get the attack bar of one of them but not all of them ouch and i think we are fine so far okay okay no 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 wait can i kill the odin i need to kill the odin okay we oh <laughs> we barely kill the odin okay let's finish the odin here because if that ignore defense couple row we're gonna die so i think with the strip it's actually kind of interesting to see how this is gonna turn out in the future oh we have defense break oh my god we're tanky we're fine we're fine we're surviving we're surviving right we do this we're gonna do damage Kamun is hard carry this team right here but honestly Kamun is a hard carry a lot of time in guild battle okay we're fine so as a tanky bruises i think we might see him actually we might see him but odin i think is still a much harder equation to solve here in this defense with the revive with the you know, defense damage with the unexpected proc that can steal buff and kill you that kind of thing but hey we might see him also all the bison has arena leader skill which i find pretty weird because i think they're pretty decent in guild battle so having arena leader skill we have another beast monk situation here like beast monk are really good in guild battle but somehow we have leader skill in dungeon and these guys are pretty good in 
in guild war and they have arena leader skill if they have guild war leader skill like this guy have a 44 percent leader skill it's gonna be pretty pretty good and if this guy has guild war speed lead i think it's gonna make him incredible not gonna lie if this guy has guild war speed lead he's gonna be really really good in like a, a galleon i mean you don't even need galleon you just build clara and him and maybe something else and you're gonna do just fine so changing leader skill for this guy maybe come to us in the future patch that we might see in three months give him guild war leader skill and he might be something worth talking about all right guys that's it for the win bison today after playing around with him in guild battle today and give him some actual good runes so that he can shine and do some damage put down some control i think he's not that bad a little bit more tweak may make him really really good let's say give this thing hp scaling for example some more effect down here i think it's gonna make him a solid unit for guild battle in rta as a win control unit he has a lot of competition thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you did smash a like down below leave a comment subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you guys next time bye